Hey and welcome to the Fluffy Oracle. My name is Heather and these are going to be your 2019 prediction messages. So for your choices we have Oscar, we have Baby Jasper, and we have Spirit Quartz for pile number three. Your timestamps will be down below as usual. If you need any extra time go ahead and pause the video at any moment while I'm speaking. All right how how excited are you guys that this is wow 2018 is almost over. I can't believe it. There's been so much that's happened. I know for everybody, especially for me, there's been so, so many changes, good and bad. I've just have had to roll with the punches, but you guys have been awesome these past few months since I started my channel. I love you all. You guys are amazing. The support from you guys is absolutely wonderful, and I love getting to know each and every one of you, and I really, really appreciate all of you and all of your sweet and beautiful comments, but let's go ahead and jump right in, and let's see what we have for your 2019 prediction, shall we? Alrighty, so for my loves who chose Oscar, let's see what his messages are for you. So, with the tarot, we're going to start off there. We have lots of new love coming in for you guys because we have the lovers, the ace of wands, ten of cups, and the emperor. And then we also have the reunion card <clears throat> from the gypsy tarot, from the uh, gypsy oracle. So... Right off the bat, I really feel like there's going to be a lot of new love coming in, especially in January for some of you guys out there is what I hear. And it's going to be after a time of some major decisions. And I feel like those major deci decisions are happening right now for you. And I feel like once those decisions are finalized by February, you guys should be having a very happy um, family um together with this person or at least a deepening uh bond between the both of you and if you're already in a current relationship it's going to blossom into hopefully a very happy time for both of you and maybe some fl family planning a little bit if you're wondering about that and then we have the emperor where everything is going smoothly and very you are very in charge because you've made this ma major decision now and you've stepped into your power and then we have the stillness is the key to success. So because you've went within and made these uh, very important decisions, it's chosen to give you a lot of success from this and you are going to reap those rewards, especially all year long in 2019. And then we have when in doubt, I choose to see peace. So no matter what comes your way, I feel like you're going to have a peaceful resolution to everything that comes in because we have for the two angel cards we have the angel of knowing and the angel of peace speaking of which which is funny because it was in line with the peace card the angel of peace reads i open my heart and rest in love or uh rest in the peace of divine love so you are definitely being divinely guided and surrounded with lots of love and peace especially with your angels and then we have the angel of knowing it reads my sense of inner knowing leads me in the leads me to the right yeah leads me to the light these cards are a little hard to read when i'm behind the camera <laughs> but anyways plus the words are like kind of like blurryish from when they're far away from me because of the background on the card but anyways so i feel like you're also going to be very highly intuitive this year coming up and that that um intuition is going to be leading you in the right direction and it's just going to be a very smooth year coming up and a very smooth transi transition as well, I feel, going into the new year for you guys. So I do hope that these messages resonate and that I do hope you have a wonderful new year and a wonderful holiday. And I will see you next reading. Alrighty, so for my loves who chose Baby Jasper, let's see what we have. So I'm going to start with the angels up here. And the Gypsy Oracle card. So with the Gypsy Oracle card, we have conversation. So with this card, I feel like there's going to be a lot of friends around you and that you're going to be having a lot of important conversations, whether it be in love, finance, or just in general with your friends. Kind of like a given. <laughs> but I feel like some of these conversations are going to be so profound and so eye-opening that you're going to be like, wow, I never really thought of it like that before. Or you're just going to have some amazing ideas. And also, you're going to have a closer bond with some of these friendships that you've never achieved and seen before. And I feel like you're going to make 
a very important soul family connection as well this year coming up for you is what I get from this. Okay. So with angel cards, I have the angel of discernment. <clears throat> Through the grace of the divine, I am able to know the right path. So with this, I feel like there's going to be a lot of um, decisions made this year. A very like important few decisions I feel are coming up between January and and March and then again around like October November there's gonna be some more um, important decisions for you to be making so please be aware of those but you also have to use your best judgment in making these decisions and have confidence in knowing that you're making the right call with those decisions alrighty so we have the angel <clears throat> the angel prince of the south I let go of all pain and tension as I float in the sea of divine love. So with this, I feel like there's also going to be a lot of releasing this year coming up as well as the um, current next few weeks. I feel there's going to be a lot of important releasing of old pain and old hurts so that you can move on finally into the new year and have a stress-free year, at least a stress-free beginning of the year is what I get with that card. So with these cards we have dissolve love dissolve all boundaries with love so as you're doing this releasing do so with a lot of love in your heart and wish whatever the people are are things that you have to let go a lot of love and peace and happiness so that you can move on peacefully in your heart all right and i know sometimes that can be very hard to do and then we have when i move my body i bust through all that blocks <clears throat> all that blocks me from my from my true health and vitality so once you remove all these boundaries and release all these things with love that no longer serve you you'll be busting through all these things that stand in your way or that have felt like they've been holding you back and it will kind of guide you forward in a better mentality and a lot more peaceful peace of mind a lot of love and you'll have like a new sense of energy and vibrance about you and I feel like that's going to last throughout most of the year because you're going to have that natural feeling and way of dealing with things that no matter what comes up, you know you'll be all right. So we have the Magician, Six of Wands, Three of Cups, and the Justice. So the Justice goes well with the Discernment card because I feel it's really connected to that with making important decisions, <clears throat> especially being fair about it and actually standing firm in your decisions and making the right judgment calls, alrighty? But I know that once you do, it's gonna lead you to having a lot of, <clears throat> a lot of celebration and success throughout the year, especially within the new year. I hear around February, there's gonna be a lot of um, celebrations for you and a lot of calls for celebration for you. And especially some new love coming in is what I just heard with that. It may not be in the cards, but I hear like there's a new love coming in for you around then. And then we have the magician. You have everything you need. You will have everything you need through that out the entire year. And you will be able to make sure that you have everything you need and stay within that abundance pattern. So all in all, I think you guys have a good year coming up. So congratulations. I wish you guys the best and happy holidays. Thank you guys so much for taking the time out to watch this video and for liking and subscribing. Have a wonderful holiday and I will see you next video. Alrighty, so for my loves who chose the spirit cords for pile number three, let's see what we get. We're going to jump right in with these tarot cards because I they're like screaming at me here because <laughs> I've gotten so many message from, um, messages already just from putting them down. We have the King of Cups, Five of Pentacles, the World, and the Knight of Cups. So right away, I feel like there's going to be two major relationships in your life in 2019, one in the beginning that will end with you feeling kind of left out in the cold. Hence the King of Cups, the Five of Pentacles and the world. So for me, that's a major relationship or an important one that you might be with now or sometime within the next few weeks that will be ending probably... I want to say end of May and then you'll have someone come 
right after that to sweep you off, or off your feet for the rest of the year is what I'm getting with this. But I feel like this relationship is going to be a very, very awesome new beginning for you because even though you have the world card with endings, it also brings new beginnings. And I feel like this new beginning is going to be a very successful new beginning in love for you. So no matter what happens with this um, person over here and then making you feel like you're left out in the cold, know that it's for your best and greatest and highest good, okay? And that someone will be coming along shortly after that. So. I feel like this one will be ending in the beginning of May and this one will be beginning at the end of May. Like ending in the beginning, beginning in the end. Make sense? Kind of hope it does. Because <laughs> I'm like, all right, I'm trying to move on and then I'm getting extra messages as I'm trying to move on. <laughs> but anyways, with these two cards, I hear if you're starting your own home-based business, there's going to be a lot of success with this. And then it's going to be a wonderful jump start to it and a lot of um, celebration or cause for celebration with this already because we have the I welcome abundance and I will pay attention to the guidance I receive. So by following your intuition with this, um, this opportunity coming in for uh, more abundance and money for you, I feel like it's going to be very successful. And it's going to cause you to have a sense of relief financially overall for the entire year, okay? It says, I can find peace in every breath. So with that, it tells me there's going to be a sense of relief coming in for you with this that was much needed, all right? And then for the angel guidance, we have <coughs> the Archangel Raphael. I am strengthened and healed by the power of the divine love. So with this, know that you are divinely guided, um, guarded and guided and surrounded by love at this time and throughout the rest of the year. And that there is lots of love coming in for you because I'm really attracted to this fish and the water. Alrighty. And that he's helping to also heal your, heal your heart whenever this breakup happens. Okay. So we have the Prince of the North or the Angel Prince of the North, excuse me. I celebrate my uniqueness with joy and gratitude. So with this, I feel like whatever this business is, it's a very unique and wonderful and successful idea that you've had out of the blue. And I feel like it's going to be an awesome time during the year as well as career wise. For those who aren't starting their own home based business, I feel like you're going to come into a greater abundance and a really nice and awesome job opportunity over the next six months. Alrighty. So I do hope that these messages resonated with you and that everything works out wonderful. I hope you guys have an awesome holiday and I will see you next pick a card. Have a great one.